1-888-9 TCM Shop. <laughs> Hey there, welcome to this week's edition of Silent Sunday Night. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. For the last few hours, we've been presenting westerns, and we'll continue that theme with a pair of silent westerns that also happen to be comedies. In just a little bit, we'll bring you the 1925 Buster Keaton classic, Go West. But before we get there, we've got a brief 23-minute, two-reel western comedy starring one of the few who could rival Keaton in the world of silent comedy, Harold Lloyd. From 1920, it's an eastern westerner. Lloyd stars as a rich and spoiled young man from New York City. He is fed up with his nightclubbing ways, and his parents try to straighten him out by sending him to his uncle's ranch out west, giving Harold Lloyd ample opportunities to do what he did best, make audiences laugh. Behind the scenes, Harold Lloyd's life had gotten quite serious. Just six months before making the movie, Lloyd was seriously injured while shooting publicity photos. The idea was to get a shot of Lloyd lighting a cigarette from the burning fuse of a bomb. Perhaps they were out of stunt bombs that day, but they gave him a real bomb that actually blew up, severely burning Lloyd's face and resulting in the loss of a couple of fingers. But Lloyd recovered quickly and returned to the screen to make this film and many more. For years, he performed one amazing on-screen stunt after another, often hanging from ledges, buildings, and rafters, and doing it all with a hand two fingers short, and the audience never suspected a thing. From director Hal Roach in 1920, also starring Mildred Davis, more about her after the movie, here's Harold Lloyd in the first of our two silent classics tonight, an Eastern Westerner. 